There we go. And speaking of the devil, we're going to see his Diddy Kong, something he practiced a lot in Smash 4 and just carried into Ultimate against Lumbre, the Ness Extraordinaire, who's also had some pretty good showings as an unranked player. This will definitely be an interesting match, especially them meeting in winner's pool side. It is. So, uh, well, there's not too much to talk about right now. Diddy Kong has definitely been, like, a very interesting character. Uh, when he was first seen, it, it was like, it was horrible for him because he just didn't have those options out and people were trying to get at Dofu Ha available, but people realized the strength of that banana. Absolutely. And this is a matchup we saw a couple of times at Midwest Arena 2 a couple of days ago with 8-Bit Man and Matata. Mm -hmm. Some of these players, you know, these smaller hitboxes do come into effect, so you have to be extra precise with some of these bears, mm -hmm. especially from Lightning Camp's perspective. He's able to get out of it, but these banana plays are just confusing Lumbre, it seems like. Because anytime he feels like he's safe with these aerials or these magnet cancels, he just gets a banana to the face, and including with the double fist coming in from that F smash. And surely he's trying to find some way in. He's going to go ahead and keep cycling with these PK fires, but he's looking for any opportunity to find it and trying to get the confirm, but nothing just yet. Yeah, of course, Diddy Kong, a player and a character we don't have too much top representation of in California, so this might be a bit of a new experience for Lumbre. Good DI to the corner to just barely live that F smash off of the banana confirm, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely trying to find some way out of this, but up smash doesn't find it, but the up tilt surely does. I thought that was real up tilt as a kill option. I thought it was too, but, you know, Diddy Kong, the beneficiary of a slew of buffs a couple of patches ago. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's like, it surely, it, it doesn't seem much. 17%, right, that's not the biggest punish, but every percent matters. It does, and especially against a character like Diddy Kong, who is relying on these percents to kill, does not have just too many options to just get you out of stocks at low percents. You cannot afford to just go for risky trades, especially when he's down like Lumbre is. Yep, and right now the banana play coming in right now. This time Lumbre does challenge it. PK Fire gonna catch him out, but great SDI to get him out. And you can be up, he had a shield. Very interesting. I have yet to see that. But Lightning Cam, he's, he knows a lot more about this character than I do, for sure. He does, and we've seen that a couple of times within neutral. We saw it once again right there. That ending hitbox of that jetpack going to do oh, it. But the no. F smash sends him barely to the corner. That kills from Lightning Cam. Already two stocks to the good here. And surely he finally gets the kill, but Lumbre feeling the pressure already as we're seeing right now. Here come the down tilts that Diddy Kong used to be so famous for. It seemed like that Lightning Cam is not only using his bananas in a very in a very strong way, he's using his uppy in a great way to force out damage. He's using it as a way to get away from Lumbre, because Lumbre's trying to push him into this corner, but Lightning Cam just keeps running away. And if I'm Lumbre here, I might even just consider just holding on to the mana for the banana for the sole reason that Lightning Cam cannot pull another one. And right now, here comes the down tilt trying to land the grab as well, but no. Oh my. I can't even say anything because he's right now, he's just forcing him off into these really bad situations. He's going for the hard read, but not able to find it just yet. Yeah, going for these confirms and hitting them at an expert rate, the back air from Lundberg will gain him stage control for only for the moment. Oh! That get up option is able to get him out, but. Picking up the banana and the up smash. Not going to be able to dig just yet, but Lumbre 134. <coughs> He's so close to death, and the down tilt going to force him out to these options. Great monkey flip as well. Lightning Cam is on fire right now. Nothing that Lumbre can even do about it. What's PK Thunder for someone named Lightning Cam? But he's actually forcing him off, but he's actually using it again, but he catches him out with that PK Thunder. Yeah, the PK Thunder 2 hitbox, not a moment too soon. That's the first time he even considered going for it towards the ledge and finally gets rewarded for it, but he's going to have to make up 160% deficit, gets slapped out of the air for even considering it. Yeah, people talked about how Diddy Kong's up tilt wasn't a kill move anymore, and we just saw it twice, so I guess it just works out. It's a pretty good... It's relatively safe if you can, like, space it out, but... I think Lumbre not being used to going against the high level Diddy Kong that we're seeing from Lightning Cam is definitely throwing him off this game. Certainly. <coughs> and that is, you know, Ness is a fairly light character and he was at around 160 both times, but nevertheless, that is something you have to be prepared for. Just play around the banana if you can at all. Perhaps use the magnet or just any of your other movement options to just dance around it. Yep, and right back onto the Pokemon Stadium. I love his use of the peanut pop gun, really forcing out Lumbre to make the approach option. And here comes the early damage. 24%, and we're seeing right now, it's a very different Diddy Kong play that I'm used to. I'm usually like to see Diddy Kong's like to go aggressive, but Lightning Cam opting for a more defensive, finding Lumbre when he does these really unsafe moves and punish him with a banana. Yeah, excellent back air through the platform. Just throws out a quick shrug as well. Met with the back throw. And his usage of barrels is very interesting. I've yet to see uh, Diddy Kong players use, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of Diddy Kong, but this is the first time we've really seen a Diddy Kong 
use those barrels such offensively. Absolutely. Gets with the last hit of Esma. He was just so far away, and yet Diddy Kong, you just run forward each hit for the forward than the last. Using the PK Thunder, Lumbray trying to adapt and be a little more defensive, but look at this hit and run from Lightning Cam. He's just gonna use the Pita Pop Gun, force, try to find some way that Lumbray does an unsafe aerial, and then use the banana and go for the Epsom Match. That's his, I think that's his game plan, I'm starting to realize. Yeah, I praised Lumbray for his movement options a moment ago. How about Lightning Cam with these monkey flips and barrels on stage within neutral? Just tools you don't see used perhaps as often as Lightning Cam does, but he's making the most of them. It's very defensive. He's holding a shield up a lot. I start to realize that he's looking for these opportunities that Lumbre doesn't space his aerial correctly and forced to recover offstage. Here comes the peanuts, but right now he's going to fish for that banana. Yeah, excellent. Oh my goodness. Up mass through the platform, banana in hand, lightning camp absolutely flying through this pool's matchup against Lumbre. And he's going to use his barrels once more. It's actually relatively safe. You can't get there fast enough. He's going to use it once more. He's actually crossing them up. Lumbre can't seem to find an option at all. Yeah, of course, it isn't safe if you're already in the right position, but Lumbre, that's been somewhere he's been unable to find himself until now. Mm -hmm. And able to find a way around it. Great job by Lightning Cam to get away. I thought for sure he was going to hit him, but these down tilts and bananas are so oppressive. Monkey flip on the child. And he went for the downer, but unable to find it just yet, but up he had a shield once more. Now, finally, just again, Lumbre has been discarding these bananas too hastily. When you do pull a banana, that back door will finally seal out the first stock against Lightning Cannon. When you do pull out these bananas easily, you just prevent Donkey or uh, Diddy Kong from having them. Yeah, Perhaps that's more useful than even having these combos started yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like in Smash 4 when Diddy Kong was a popular pick, a lot of players like opted to hold on to that banana and try to use it against them. But because right now, Lightning Cam is not letting Lumbray breathe at all. These bananas are flying everywhere. Lumbray knows that if he does something unsafe just like that, he's going to get punished. Yeah, he just stood his ground and was facing the right way. Fortunate enough for that, but the PK Thunder will pop him up into the up air. Lumbray knows he needs to go for a hard read in order to secure a stock earlier, and especially with the PK Fire, but the up B once more demands so much respect. It does, and especially against a stage as wide as PS2. These, par these parries and these barrels are just providing him, you know, he has control of the entire stage almost simultaneously, it seems. The monkey flip does not get the command grab hitbox, instead just goes to the regular hit. Right not now. quite sealing the stock, but again, not too far away. And he knows what up till we'll be able to take it. Barrels away just like that, and that's going to be a kill. Oh, he actually lands on the platform, so he's going to be safe for now. Forward throw. <gasps> the barrels! <laughs> the barrels did back! Lumber was just standing there, and he was watching his demise just float at him slowly. What an unfortunate, unfortunate time to wait in place, and Lumbre will be made to pay for it. And if there's something that I do know is that that back throw is not going to kill, but you can control the barrels when you're out of control in that situation. You can use your stick to actually weave the barrels out, and Lumbre was not expecting that. Yeah, that's just a classic <laughs> cape of just matchup inexperience. He just wasn't prepared for it at all. He wasn't even holding shield. Yep, and 46% already. Diddy Kong. 140, and oh my god, that does so much damage. 146, surely it does some self-damage, but it surely is worth it because you got all this rage to work off of. Absolutely, and these peanuts, you know, they sort of serve a dual purpose. They're a good neutral tool. They space your opponent out, but they also serve the purpose of getting rid of Ness's PK Thunders. The back throw will <coughs> finally seal it out. Lumbre not out of this just yet, but he'll have to play a lot more conservatively, play a lot more safe if he wants to even begin to make such a comeback. I love how defensive Lightning Cam's playing. He's got himself off stage, but I don't to find it, and that barrel's loops around once more. For the second time, <coughs> pokes out with a PK Thunder instead of just going for the PK Thunder 2. And that's going to be it. Perhaps an <laughs> unceremonious way to end the game, but he was just getting these banana confirms at almost every time of asking. Lightning Cam just coming into SoCal and showcasing, you know, what Diddy Kong can do. It's not a 